Dear students, today we will learn how to identify the angle between two vectors and how to shift a vector from one place to another place. At first, we will learn how to identify the angle between two vectors. Actually, the angle between two vectors always lie between 0 degree and 180 degree. See, this is vector A and this is vector B. Between these two vectors, there are two angles that we can get. This angle and this angle. If this angle is 300 degree, then this angle must be 60 degree. This angle is greater than 180 degree, but this angle is between 0 degree and 180 degree. So, this angle will be the angle between these two vectors. Look at these different pictures of different vectors. See, this is a vector and this is B vector. The angle between them is 0 degree. This angle is 45 degree. This angle is 90 degree, this angle is 160 degree and this angle is 150 degree. All of these angles are the angles between the vector A and the vector B as they are lying between 0 degree and 180 degree. Look at here. If I ask you to tell me between these two angles, which angle will be the angle between these A vector and B vector? Don't say this 130 degree angle will be the angle between these two vectors. Why? Do remember, the angle between two vectors is the angle formed at the intersection of their tails only, not tail to head or head to tail. Look at here. The tail of this A vector intersects with the tail of this B vector. Similarly, this tail intersects with this tail. This tail intersects with this tail. This tail intersects with this tail. And this tail intersects with this tail. But look at here. This is the head of this vector A and this is the tail of this vector B. So this angle cannot be the angle between these two vectors. Now question may come in your mind that which angle will be the angle between these two vectors? Don't worry, just shift this vector from here to here and join its tail to the tail of this vector by using parallel shifting like this. See, this is the angle that we are looking for. This is a 180 degree angle. If we subtract this angle from this angle, then we will get 180 degree minus 130 degree that is 50 degree. This 50 degree is the angle between these two vectors. Now let's understand this word parallel shifting. Parallel shifting means changing the position of a vector from one place to another without changing its direction and magnitude. That means we can shift any vector anywhere without changing their direction and magnitude. Look at this equilateral triangle. These three sides are equal to each other. These all three internal angles are also congruent and are each 60 degree. Now think this is vector A and this is vector B. This 60 degree angle is not the angle between these two vectors as 
दीज वेक्टर्स आर नट जयंट टेल टू टेल उइ वान टू फाइंड आउट द एंगल विटुईन दिज टू वेक्टर्स ह्वाट उइ उल हाव टू डू इज दैट उइ उल शिफ्ट दिज वेक्टर फ्रम हेयर टू हेयर दिस एंगल उल वि द एंगल दैट उइ वेड सी दिस इज ए वन हंड्रेड एट्टी डिग्री एंगल दिज वन हंड्रेड एट्टी डिग्री माइनस दिस सिक्सटी डिग्री इक्वल्स वन हंड्रेड टोन्टी डिग्री दिज वन हंड्रेड टोन्टी डिग्री उल वि द एंगल विटुईन दिस टू वेक्टर्स लुक एट द क्वेश्चन डिटारमाइन द भू अब द एंगल विटुईन ए भेक्टर एंड बी भेक्टर द भू अब द एंगल विटुईन बी भेक्टर एंड सी भेक्टर एंड द भू अब द एंगल विटुईन ए भेक्टर एंड सी भेक्टर At first, we will find out the angle between this a vector and this b vector. Then we will determine the value of the angle. See, there are two angles here between this a vector and b vector. This angle and this angle. This angle is greater than one hundred eighty degree, but this angle is not more than one hundred eighty degree. so this angle cannot be the angle between this a vector and b vector therefore we will have to consider this angle as the angle between these two vectors now we will determine the value of this angle see this is a 90 degree angle if we subtract this 30 degree and this 30 degree that is 60 degree from this 90 degree then we will get 90 degree minus 60 degree equals 30 degree this 30 degree is the value of the angle between this a vector and b vector now we will find out the angle between this b vector and c vector first then we will determine the value of the angle see there are also two angles here between this b vector and c vector this angle and this angle this angle is greater than 180 degree but this angle is not more than 180 degree so this angle will be the angle between these two vectors now we will determine the value of this angle see this is a 90 degree angle if we subtract this 45 degree from this 90 degree then we will get 45 degree so this angle is 45 degree this angle is 90 degree so the value of the angle between this b vector and c vector will be this 45 degree plus this 90 degree plus this 30 degree that is 165 degree now we will find out the angle between this a vector and c vector first then we will determine the value of the angle see there are also two angles here between this a vector and c vector this angle and this angle this angle is greater than 180 degree but this angle is not more than 180 degree therefore this angle will be the angle between these two vectors now we will determine the value of this angle see this is a 90 degree angle so the value of the angle between this a vector and c vector will be this 45 degree plus this 90 degree plus this 30 degree that is 165 degree in our next tutorial vector part 4 we will learn some awesome tricks to apply the formulas for finding out the value of the mid angle between two vectors according to the question thanks a lot for watching this tutorial